<laughs> yes! All right, and welcome, welcome, welcome. We are back once mm. again with the great, the one, the only, mm. Ryan Warner. Hey, everybody. And I'm, I'm dubbing <laughs> Ryan my, my spirit animal. If I, if I had to pick a spirit animal for a guitar player, it would be Ryan. And in Nashville, he's uh, one of the cats that actually plays hard rock, which is like a beautiful thing. Yeah, well, I think a lot of people do it on their couches. Well, you're not afraid I to play. Do. <laughs> <laughs> right. But yes, yeah. So you're one of the only guys that'll bust it out, though, which is which is a, a welcome thing. Why why not? Why why don't they do it? Brave enough, stupid enough. I don't know. <laughs> right, you just you don't be care, the judge. Right? Okay. You so be the judge. we got. Uh, I hmm. just like what I like, and yeah, I like, I like shit like that. Yeah. Let, let it out. Sorry. Shout shout. Let it out. Oh, now that's a great guitar track. <laughs> is it really? Tears for Fears, man? Really? Are you kidding me? Well, the uh, everybody wants the to rule the world. That one too. Oh yeah. It's a freaking killer. Yeah. That's, that's a great. So both solos are outstanding. Is it good? I'll have to go back and listen to that. Oh my one. gosh. I had to learn that that both one for them. what was uh, for a gig I did, and I was like, not only was the playing killer, but the freaking tone was wicked. Yeah. Good for him. Yeah. It's a singer. So you got an album yet, or what, what's going on? I got half an album. Are, are we like? Can, can they actually link to something below? Not like, yet. Half an album, zero name. Instagram. How about that? Instagram. It's, right now, it's just my Instagram, which and we're, is we're, terrifying. We're, it's terrible. Oh, terrifying. <laughs> oh, sorry. No, it's amazing. Well, thanks. You and your Yamaha. My Yamaha. My Every, little. Everyone's gonna wonder, and it's a what? Like this big? Like yeah. Three hundred dollar freaking terrifying machine of awesome. Yeah, it was a Christmas present. No way. My parents. So free. Yeah. Gotta love that. Yeah. Well, I love. I loved it. I just. I wanted to practice amp because I was trying to play more guitar. Yeah. I don't think I'm playing enough. I need an amp to practice on. Right. Not kill yourself. Yeah. And I and uh, a buddy of mine. Uh, his name's Eric, and he showed me this thing on yeah. the tour. He worked for another band we were on a tour with forever ago. Like XTS, Eric. Different Eric. Okay. Different Eric. This guy's super cool too. Though. They're right. both awesome. All right. All They're right. good examples of Eric. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> he showed up with this amp. Yeah. And he worked for a crew for another band, and he was like, "Dude, this is." Like plug and play, your stupid little arena rock bedroom, yeah. everything you've ever wanted. No. And so I've and got it. Is. I got my, I talked to my folks about it. I was like, yeah, yeah. Christmas present, I could use a little practice amp. There's a Saldano setting, a fake yeah. SLO setting, mm -hmm. type setting, I think it's called Ish. modern. Yeah, right. It's modern. Right. And you put a little delay on, and then you just pretend to be yeah. I mean, a go check out guy. Check out the Instagram feed. The the tone is ridiculous. Everyone, everyone's like, "Oh my god!" And I remember when you told me what that was, and I was just like, "That cannot be." Yeah, I just I saved a preset the day I got it. Yeah, Christmas Day. <sighs> Say, my dad got one the same year. We both got yeah. one. I saved the preset that you hear, and yeah. it's, every time I turn on, I just hit the preset button. That's it. I just change the guitar and yeah. I mean, it's not like I mean, I'm not going to win any Pepsi challenges or anything, but it's fun. Oh, it's a Pepsi challenge. All yeah, right. It's a couple out, you know, two, three, four hours of the house with that. And yeah, at least I feel like I've and done you can, something. And you can hear. Yeah, still. Yeah, exactly. Because doing this in the house. <laughs> Dude, that thing is so loud. Yeah. It's crazy. And, you know, the Friedman Master is yeah. like the best thing out there for that. But oh, totally. It's still just, yeah. It's good to just plug in. And if I forget to turn it off because I play for hours and hours yeah. and walk in the room, it's, a, it's, it's a, okay. It's not like you're busting when you're like, yeah. in these magic valuable things right i love it and, and it's I got a good tuner in it well who doesn't really? want a good tuner you just hit the tuner it's all there okay yamaha yep. what's it called thr10 uh it really seriously do yourself a favor <laughs> if, if you're like like hard rock or a rock period or it's actually the clean tones are great too see it's the ghost in the machine so yeah. you're gonna hear a little, little cell phone in there somewhere mm -hmm. and there's no cell phone in here anyways Wicked tone. So slippery, freaking greasy, yeah. pentatonic. Lids. We don't have it today, but we're faking. We're trying to fake the fake sound with the real one today. Right. <laughs> right. So how about that? So but we have the killer ox for that. What? What? Uh. What was the secret, dude? What, what's like the freaking slippery, wicked licks you got going oh, on there? Man. Well, I think it's just the secret is not going out much. You were <laughs> <Stay laughs> on play a bunch. You were doing some like. Uh, what was the little thing? Uh, uh, the, uh, the yeah, the little. How about you get to take your hair back? Hair back, all right. Yeah. Somebody told me at lunch yesterday the I have my hair on my food. <laughs> it's all right. It's every day, though. Yeah, right. Okay, you got it. Yeah, that exactly. kind of thing. Slow that way down. Hold so, on. It's so, really uh, all about that little, it's literally all about that little move between. Okay, so A minor, box one. Yeah, box one, A minor, so, you know. Yeah. So we're on the A note on the D string. Okay. And then you go to the. So you normally would just go to the the fifth fret there. Yeah. Okay. Instead of keeping it real 
square, Straight. yeah, we bend it a little bit. So uh, it's like it's, it's a little slight thing, but it's like just a sitar a, bend. Yeah, it's a little fake George Harrison. Uh huh. Thing. And you can do them half or whole step. It's kind of cool. And you came Someone's back that way too, which was good. Yeah. So you do it on both. Yeah, exactly. Every time I go to that little, the little thing, right? I just hit it every time. Turns out I bend strings probably more than I should. Everything's a little bit. No, it sounds great. But I, I, I realize I'm doing that more that we've been talking about it. I yeah. Think. I mean, because it's not. There's nothing wrong with going. Right. It's just got a little. You know okay, I mean? so just kind of slur around it. I just think, yeah, it, I don't think it's necessarily better. It just seems to be more interesting to me. Where where else would you go with that? Like, because that's a killer starting um, point, obviously. Like, if you were to go down okay. lower, how would um, you carry it all the way down to like? Uh... Oh, nice. Okay, all right, all right. I don't know. That just that killer. shot number one. Okay, so what were the places you've been? <laughs> uh, so like. Okay, so Let's fourth fret of that one, yeah. Right here. So like, so back to that A. So I was starting on the fifth fret of the G string. So you got instead of going, step, yeah. which is what we normally yeah. would do. Okay. It's just adding that extra. It's really that, but with characters, all it is. Okay. And then you went down to the D. Yeah. The same thing? And then I went to the D note in yeah. here. So on this one, you pulled the... Uh, yeah. So oh, third fret, that. second fret. Oh, I just kind of nice. do the same. It's the same little yeah. move. Just right, just knock it lower. Anywhere it doesn't sound awful. So, it's, so you basically, it seems like you're, you're taking the notes from the major pentatonic and bending into the minor notes. Yeah. This one. Look at you. Okay, kind so like, like that kind of stuff. Too, yeah. Too. But like how you transitioned up, because mm -hmm. you jumped. and uh, Yeah, like, what, I think it was, was just your... moving to the, so like, you know, we were playing in like just a normal, usual, you know. Right. And then I do that, uh, we talked about that earlier. It's kind of the same thing, I think. The um... oh, that's kind of where I went from there. So we're in A doing the. So that's okay, like a. Down. That's a. Was that seven, seven, nine, ten? And you hit the ninth fret on the G string, and the eight. So it's like an arpeggio kind of. Okay. And then where do you go from there? You just oh. go up and do another one of those little half steps and you got... Yeah. I don't know, seems cool to me. Get, nice. get a little room to breathe for a second. Yeah. You know what I mean? You go back to that and... <laughs> what were some of that you do? Your, you do like some string skipping. Yeah, I, that, what, that's, like, what was it? You know, we're in Franklin, Tennessee, by the way. And okay. growing up here, there's a lot of people playing Telecasters. Oh, right. Well, yeah, that is kind so of tally like, right? Yeah. Oh, David yeah, Grissom cool. plays that, that a lot. I mean, Nuno even uses it in so, that kind of thing, you know. But Grissom does it a lot too. Who is one of the, you know, in uh, my opinion, the best ever. You know. I'm trying to convince him to come over. Close, I'm close. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be, uh, tell me when you're... Yeah, no, that would be that amazing. Out, I'll, no, I mean, I just want to watch it. Oh, him, bro. I was, I'm going to yeah. come over and germ him. He's going to be like, what's up with this? What's up with this freaking creeper? Why'd you let the yard guy in? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> okay, well, that's great. That, that was killer. That's pretty heady, too. Okay, wait, okay. Work. Show yeah, us slow. So we can do it up here, too, I think. That's so kind you're of sliding like a into it? Yeah. Yeah, so you go. You do it like that. Okay, what's the, what's the fret? So you're 11 so that's a, to 10? 11 to 
ten on the so we're D and, and then string. down a whole step. And then same down shape. A, same shape. Okay. And then seven, six, five, same frets. Okay. It's the same. You don't ever hit the G string. It's just the D and yeah. B on this particular. Sixths or whatever the hell they're called. <laughs> yeah. Sure. <laughs> sounds good. It reminds me of uh, the I'm the one. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's right. You're done. Whatever. Yeah. 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 Being that's able like, to play that in that tempo, dude. That's above with that freaking right, feel. That may be above our pay grade today, but. <laughs> All right. So, uh, how would you come out of something like that? Uh, so like. Um, so if I like here, here we go. Okay. Dude. Or something like that. Oh, wait, hold on, that, stop right there. That was cool. What was that? Uh, so what's it? We're down here. What was this? Wait, wait, I'm now. trying to. I'm trying to remember how I got there. Okay. That was it. What was it? That's it. Wow, what a trip. Okay, slow, slow, okay. slow. Here we go. Yeah, it's so uh, just that part of it. Gonna have to give you some. So it's. You're gonna have to not make so many good lattes, such good lattes. Is the problem? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> no, is that what it is? It's this. Oh, geez, that's oh, freaking awesome. awesome. It's almost. It's basically it came from two places. Okay. It's a Tony Rice lick that Who's I. Tony Rice. He's a bluegrass, okay. like the, basically the greatest of all time. Oh, you oh, know, okay. and a lot of people's opinions. Yeah. And. Uh, don't quote me on that because I like a lot of those guys. Yeah. I'm saying a lot of people think he's yeah, the, the man. And he is definitely a man. He, okay. One of many. Yeah. But he is, uh, he's really great. But he, I read that in a magazine somewhere, a guitar player. Sure. That, a verse, he did like something like that. Yeah. But it's also got a little bit of Randy Rhodes. He right. did like a, Crazy I chain. don't know. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Kind of the same. Whatever, yeah. Kind of uh -huh. like that. And then I, when I heard hit Tony Rice and I thought, oh my gosh, that's You're like amazing. fusion of, of bluegrass and metal. I would never actually But it kind of seems yes like that, that because you have, you have like some of that, um, the note choices of, of that, both those genres, it seems like, when you, when you play. Wait, I, I'm not gonna say that because the second I, I even say yes to that, I'm gonna go, wait, I don't even know how to play one bluegrass lick right. the right way. Sure. And but, everybody else that does know how to play that, well, I don't want to be that guy. But no, but it's the, but it's like what we were talking about before. Sometimes it's not the note choice per se, it's the feel, right? And and the attack, because the bluegrass, bluegrass guys have wicked attack when they're and picking the fast, stuff. And those guys can play as fast as anything. Which is crazy. World. I don't know. That's a really a whole other world. There's yeah. so many great guys at that. Yeah. The, Who I are your semi faves? Well, Tony Rice. He's right? the number one. He okay. is my favorite. One. Okay. Uh, Clarence Give us a White. Song. Clarence White. What is, what's a, a good oh, Tony Rice song? Dude, I, literally, I just have this Hot Licks video that I <laughs> that I've had forever. That's how you learn how to play guitar, huh? Yeah. I like traded. I Licks. traded somebody. I had all the '80s rock ones, yeah. including just everybody. Yeah. Our studio guys. Some of the other country cats. I love James Burton's my favorite. Yeah. Favorite people ever. Even. Yeah. And Albert Lee, but. I forget what it was, but I have a friend who was a steel player, and he okay. I traded him some kind of rock, one of the rock guys. Yeah. I don't remember. I've got a lot of those old VHSs. Sure. <laughs> one of those for a Tony Rice. So truly, I just heard the, saw the, the tape, and it was like, same thing when I saw George Lynch. I saw the tape and went, that guy is amazing. So he's got a video. There's a video. What if that's on YouTube? Possibly more than one. Really? It's not a Hot Licks brand. It's not an Arlen Roth. Yeah. I think it's like a... REH or... Not an REH. I think it's a homespun. A uh -huh. Come on. Yeah. Nice. I tell you, man, we're going to go nerdy on VHS yeah. tapes <laughs> next time you're at the house. I got all that junk. Oh, nice. Well, all right. I'll tell you the story. The, sto the store I used to go to as a kid had a TV in the corner. Oh, and yeah. They would run clips of all trailers of all the. Yeah, because they knew go, kids like us would buy them. Exactly. Oh, Dad, go, please. Anytime I saw a guy with a. My mom would drop me off yeah. the store. Anytime there would be a guy with a guitar with a tiger paint job yeah. oh, or some yeah. kind of silly and, yeah. you know japanese character i was like what's that guy yeah what's that? Ooh, yeah but that's how i got into all this stuff. Oh, that lynch one thank you guitar heaven the R. whole R. thing is interesting and at the end you're like okay like where's that in the video and he just freaking that's the money is all that's, that. the that's money. on youtube now yeah i used to just 
keep a little TV and put it, put yeah. those videos. They're all on YouTube now. The I all I want be. one is so good. Oh, man. That's in it. Yeah, Sharp, we've been playing it. Yeah. Sharp. So good. Okay, so more greasy legs. Sorry, we're geeking yeah. out. Uh, I'm gonna play and then I'm gonna stop you again in the middle of. <laughs> you gotta do that when you do that. <laughs> Okay. Well, that's good. It's just another version of that same thing. It's the same thing. Oh, interesting. It's the same notes, exactly. I just saw these. They're same. Wait, what kind of. What was it? It's like a. Oh, okay, right. So I just did that uh, little half step. So, it? five, four. Yeah, five, 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 four on D, five, three on A. Oh, and you come back to the D. Yeah. And then we do this little half steppy thing. We kind of get back to the nice. What we were trying to start talking about initially. That's an interesting about. interval trick. Though. I okay. don't know if it's right or wrong. Somebody can tell us, but it's Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> so that that might just be wrong. <laughs> but uh, if it goes by fast enough, right. I don't like to be that guy. Well, if it goes by fast enough, it doesn't matter. It does still matter. Who, who but. Cares? But I won't tell anybody. But uh, it sounds cool. Yeah, and I just kind of in my, I know a little bit. I'm not saying I'm yeah. an expert or anything, but just like to hear. I just kind of go by ear, and if, yeah, and harmonically, if my ear goes cool, yeah, or brain, I should say, then I go, okay, remember that. That's really all I remembered from that one day. Going, okay, that sounded cool. Then how much chromatics are you throwing in, in your playing? Like a lot, pretty or good, little? pretty good bit. And then you get some big stretches in there too. Yeah, not as many as I wish I could. Yeah. My hands aren't really yeah. big. Yeah, I big wish enough, I was though. like Ian Thornley with the giant hands. <laughs> what are some of the, okay, let's do, let's do uh, some of the, some of the uh, uh, Warren-esque. The, talking about the chromatic thing. Like yeah. that there, like yeah. I do, you know, I mean, you can just sort of almost just mess around and see if it, by ear, if, if it, it sounds, works. you know, like. <laughs> I mean, that's yeah. kind of cool, and that's really out of your... Yeah. So you're telling in the lines. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's pretty cool. And then, like, uh, we do a stretch like you're talking about. Like, I kind of do that. We've been doing that one here. Oh, my gosh. That kind of thing is cool. Yes, yes please. That's, uh... So we're like... If it's, a uh, you know, 10, 13 out of your... Three. We're playing an A, but yeah, you know it's out of the minor. So, so then on the high E. Wait, so so so, so like 10, you started 13, like 10, 13, 10, 13, 10, like you're starting kind uh -huh. of a regular blues rock lick, which is where this all started. Uh huh. It's that kind of thing. Okay. So then on the high E, you go 10, 12, uh, was that 15? 15. Then uh -huh. you go. Okay, that's what it is. Yeah. Oh, oh that kind of thing. Do it again. Yeah, well, I just came up with that like a couple weeks yeah. ago. It's pretty cool, right? Oh, that's freaking awesome. Okay, but, slow. But so you can also do that thing we we're talking earlier. Drill, just the can figure out if you want to bend to it or not. You know. Oh, right. Could do that, or in there if you're a guy mm -hmm. that likes to do that, or a person that likes mm -hmm. to do that. Well, I'm just saying. A gender neutral of you. Well, I just mean <laughs> there's so many awesome guitar players at all. Right. Right. But I kind of like to do the bend thing because this sounds a little more like we're talking bend when you maybe don't even need to. So instead of going. Go. Oh, nice. It's got a little more attitude now. Yeah. Way. That's cool. You're talking about adding ways added. Got the. And then just, just bend it real wide. Yeah. I think it's. You and I both. Oh, oh my Mike. Mic. Oh, you right. and I both have that thing going on—the left hand thing. Yeah, I think it's a. I think we kind of have a. Advantage. Sometimes I feel like I have a left hand up. advantage. Left hand advantage. <laughs> so. He's, we're both left handed, by the way. Yeah. Okay, and so think about it. Martin Offler's left handed. That's a heck oh. of it, you know. He's yeah. got all that great. He does those double bends on like. What was the, that? That was cool. He does like a. He does something like that on the. He's. Oh, well, he's one of the best ever too in my book, but. So I'm not, no pick with oh, him. No. But he has like... What, what notes are you bending? It's the 12th fret on the B and G string, and you go, it's basically just this. Oh. It actually goes... 
Sorry, it's a minor. So you're bending. So, so the, like it's an A minor. You play it at, like if I was an A minor is where I would use it. B's a half step, G's a whole. Yeah. Dude, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. That's so, like, wait, wait, hold on, go back. I, I got it. Slow I think down. he plays it on the second string. Wait, through. so you're bending this to yeah. here so and like this to here. Your normal box shape will read, you know, yeah. out of A. Yeah. And you could bend it or fret to the... Right. Okay. But these notes, is yeah. the B is a half, the G's a whole. Yeah. You could get it to go to both a whole, but I, it would be hard. Yeah, you could do that. How do you get one a half and one a whole? That's freaking crazy. How long did it take you to get that down? I just did it. <laughs> so, wow. So not down yet yeah, is okay. the answer, but All that's right. kind of. It's kind of like that thing. I think we talked about last time you and I were hanging out, but like listening to it fretted. Yeah. That's the way I got my, try to get my bins in tune as a kid. Somebody taught me that mm -hmm. or read it somewhere and yeah. you know. So you just yeah. go back and forth and you can tell when you're flat. Sure. So. You know the weirdest spot is the B string right here for me. This area, I don't know why, is the hardest for yeah. me to bend into. Some guitars are different. Like, yeah. I wonder if it's hmm. something on that. I don't know. Yeah. All right, let's let's keep, go so, keep uh, going. So what here. were we talking about? The bend. Yeah, that's all it was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And a wide list. Okay. All right, let me play some more rhythm. Okay. Right, ready? Two, right. three, four. go <laughs> and that one see i caught I, I had a mistake in there but okay. i caught it by doing the bend okay that's also like the best trick ever when oh, you mess really? up just bend it till it sounds right okay right, right. one fret away oh, you know what i mean nice. you, right in there there's a lot of good in there yeah there are some bad too so you just kind of bend it till your ear goes okay right. it's good what was the whole, what so, was the whole like you went down in a cool way though too uh like a yes yes please that kind of thing that yeah, it's something like that. Um, that's kind of that same arpeggio, a little oh, that was the minor. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. So I'm playing up here in the 12th fret position, but we're at a A. Uh -huh. So that kind of sounded cool to me. Okay, so we kind of got that. Okay, so I got it. I'm just doing it so I can remember. <laughs> I'm doing it so I can remember. Uh, Barbiturate speed. So anyway, that's what it is. So you got, what, uh, 14, 13, 12. Okay. That's kind of like your, yeah. Yeah. The clapping thing, you know. So that's okay. what we got. Okay. Okay. Whatever, you can kind of go where yeah. So uh, nice. that's what that is. Mm. You do that half step there and it sounds more major. Yeah. So do you think you play out of minor boxes mostly and then add major stuff into it? Is that uh, kind of your... Yes, that's, okay. I think that's what it is. Because yeah. when I was a kid, that's all I was trying to do is play your yeah. you know, little, little kid just trying to play you the, whatever the Freebird solo right and get right. all the... All those yeah. kind of things, or the like I said, the early clapped in stuff was what got me initially. The whole reason I wanted to play was because of Crossroads. Yeah. So you start with right. Yeah, it was just both. And anyway, I just started going. You know, once I got, you know, it's really just ADD. I just started going, looking at something shiny over there. And yeah. I started, and then you just start adding things. So. Just kind of remember what sounds cool. It's it's interesting because you, you the way that you See, phrase that it with the timing, you wouldn't think that the minor lick would work because it's almost like minor scale ish. Yeah, you know it, I mean? well, maybe like, it doesn't. I don't no, know. It, it but it does. Yeah. That's that's my point. It's yeah. like that how you time it. 
But you could go up to, you know, if you want to get yeah. it to the A. Uh, the A. Wait, what was that? Yeah, that's slow. What was that? So oh, it's okay, that same so arpeggio. That, that, that same deal. But you, oh, you're hitting 15 and 17. Yeah. Again, it's not like I really... I'm doing a lot of really crazy, cool chromatic stuff like right. Steve Morris or Holsworth. But, but it's so just, it like that like, little, just a little walk down thing is cool. Yeah, it's a way to get uh, three notes in a row because exactly. it's a timing thing. It's exactly, that's all uh, it is for uh -huh. me. It's a timing thing. So you can do that. If you need more time. Oh wait, wait, wait do that. That was cool. So if you need more time, you know, so you, it, okay. so, so you can hit it again instead of slurring it if you oh. want to slow it down. Instead of, yeah, it's kind of more of that slinky thing. You'd kind of, that is awesome. Yeah, it really slow. So, that what I just played at least was this, right? So, six notes in a row, yeah. yeah. Actually, I think I've that sounds like something that I've heard like Bugavac and Ford, those guys play some cool stuff like oh, that. Bugavac. Yeah, well, both of them do that kind of thing, the like. Little passing notes that are yeah. like, oh wait, that's super interesting. Both those guys have that. Well, note. he's a huge uh, Steve Morris fan too, right? Look at that. I don't know. Yeah, I think I, I think he's, Ford was telling me that was. He's one a of fan of awesome too, so I'm. <laughs> it would make sense. But if you guys don't know who that is, and you ever are in Nashville and he's Sorry. playing somewhere, go go watch him. He's terrifying. Yeah, there's plenty of stuff on YouTube that you'll jaw drop. Oh, over, don't God. worry. Some of that stuff in his house, you're just like, wait a second, what the hell are you doing? Yeah. Anyways, okay, so yeah. let's see. Hmm. But so yeah, that's what that was. And again, it maybe it sounds like all right like that, but when you kind of run by it, yeah. it's cool. So you could do the do it there too. Ugh. Okay, so there's that. That's the thing we were talking yeah. about too, though. You're always bending. Yeah. yeah. Quarter. quarter kind of like it is kind of like. Yeah. yeah, I guess I do do that. Yeah. But I think that's part of the greasy feel. Yeah, and maybe it makes it, in my mind, it makes it a tad more vocally. Yeah. I don't know if that's, uh, yeah, if it's actually it's, true, but yeah. it, you're, I mean, because if you're anybody singing, no matter who it is, not going to hit the uh, thing, yeah. you know. Oh, sure, 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 so yeah, you, yeah. Can, you know, you yeah. can get those little slurs and it sounds a little more vocally. At least uh -huh. that's where I'm at with it. Okay, I'm going to play the progression one more time. Okay. Ready? Two, three, four. What is that timing? That dun 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 dun. Like uh, that. What, say one more time. Let's see. Like, uh, what was it? Is that a that thing? Do, 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 do. Like a. It's a. It's an interesting alpha. That thing. It's like. Oh yeah. Yeah. So let me. Play, yeah. Let me play the, the lick, and so people can hear the timing. Okay. Two, three, four. Yeah, that's two vert. You can kind of get to it yeah. fast and speed through. Or you can sort of they do that like upstrokes, kind of make it feel the right. Oh, interesting. I mean, to me, like like it's got an extra like reiki. Yeah. Energetic feeling, reiki. Yeah, exactly. That's that's, exactly, reiki. R e i k. Yeah. Right, right. But yeah, it's kind of so that that's awesome. That's cool in its own right. But you can't. It's just cool when you get a lot more roughness out of yeah. it. Yeah. It's that extra bite, too. Yeah, I can't always get it, unfortunately. So, I mean, that's it's more if you're just trying to do a fast thing, but it doesn't have that same, yeah. you know. You always want the rakes and weird stuff. Like, Joe Walsh basically invented that. And, yeah. You know, it's just all the weird stuff and rakes and all that so kind of stuff. Good. Some of that stuff in Hotel California, too. I mean, I know it's a cliche solo, but like, when you really listen to it, all the little 
slurs like that. He'll bend the note and then yeah. like all that stuff. I mean, it's just so That's much exactly character. what I'm talking about. Yeah. Those are the things that make it awesome yeah. to me. That's, totally. I mean, I love hearing guys play fast. Yeah. Trust me. I yeah. love that stuff. Yeah. Just like you do. We talk about Nuno and all that. Yeah. All that crazy. The cool stuff is the, to me, is those little things. Uh, and and then like even the, you know, like the Tom Morello kind of sound effect and yeah. stuff. It's like Eddie basically started all that. Yeah. You know, all well, it's almost weird. like a sense of humor to the yeah. playing. You know what I mean? Like you're, you're, and they're so trying to push for something new. I mean, it's like a little left turn. Yeah. Like, what? what was that? Yeah. I was, I'm always just looking for that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's where I kind of ended on that, the little three note thing and the sort of pseudo bend. Yeah. It's just cooler to me than, you know. Okay, so I said this once before, but uh, <laughs> go to his Instagram page and and give us like a Which is Instagram. Warner with an eye in it. Yeah, Warner with an eye. That's right. I'll, I'll link it down below. Yeah. But um, there's so many good licks. We we always get here and we're like, what do you want to do? Uh, I don't know. What do you want to do? <laughs> I know. So if you see some of the stuff on his Instagram feed, we are going to be better about it. We are going to be better. We, we're actually going to focus. It's just we do this. We drink lattes and get freaking crazy. So, mm -hmm. anyways, thank you for coming by. Make sure to check out Ryan's stuff below. Thanks for moving here in my hometown. That's right. Yeah. That's right. He went to high school across the street. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you're going to be seeing more of Ryan. Think about it in the questions and comment section below what you want to see. Maybe, uh, I don't know. You got any, got any words for the kids? Words of wisdom? Words of wisdom. I mean, obviously practice because you guys can't see it, but oh. he practices so much he's worn out the pickup cover right here. Yeah. I mean, you can, <laughs> you can buy relic pickups right. that look like that, but, but I that's promise real. you. Yeah. That's this real, This came straight like this. Yeah. It's cool though. I, I don't know. They can uh, send, send, send you uh, their guitar and you can break it in for them. <laughs> exactly. This thing is really high too. That might be part of it. Yeah. I, tips? Yeah, I don't know, man. Mm -hmm. Just, I think it's whatever sounds cool. Yeah. I know that's not the right thing on paper, but. Who, who, who's, who's some of your favorite greasy players that have that thing? Well, dude, you know, we always talk about Warren Demerton, yeah. always. Yeah. I mean, I, would, I think guys, about him right? every day I wake up. Every day I think about him. <laughs> He's, him and what Eddie. What would Warren do? Eddie. Yeah. Uh, all the, you know. Like I said, even, you know, the Lynch thing, if you want to do oh, some of his. Lynch too, that God. Field. I don't know, man. Of course, Lynch would say that Warren stole all of his ideas. <laughs> and they don't play anything alike they at all. They don't play alike. No, Except for the first record when the. Yeah. They are. They're not the same at all. But anyway, they're both amazing. Yes, they are. Uh, Nuno, totally, yeah. in every way, shape, or form is is a champion it's in still. every way, shape, and form. Still. Yeah. Uh, there's, a, there's a, what's the, is it? Are they in Boston? Live in Boston? When they like came back out oh, and yeah. it's him playing. House and it's like Boston or something? something like that. And he doesn't play with like, I think he just plugs straight in. And it just sounds so freaking good. It's yeah, terrifying. I, my friend Paul and I drove to Cincinnati to see a oh my God, tour how good was that? a few years ago. It was singular, one of the singular greatest guitar performances ever in my And his tone is always just off the freaking hook too. Yeah. He's got that razory thing that works, that real bright razory attack yeah. thing. It's magic. Anyway, anyways, um, thank you for watching. Other stuff. Yeah. Check down below. Well, wait, we'll think about that next time. We'll, we'll actually do. Anything? And then why don't, we got to get you doing some tone vids too, because this cat freaking gets wicked tone. So. Well, we did, we talked about some new yeah. Friedman stuff coming up and I don't know. I don't want to give anything away. Mm -hmm. but yeah. Sorry. No, that's good. That out. <laughs> <laughs> it's going. It's staying. And then we're committed now. We are, actually. There you go. Thank you for watching. We'll catch you next time. We'll be back. We'll be back, exactly.